Oh there guys, Justin here again. In today's video, I'm gonna be exploring whether or not registry tweaks that you make inside uh, the registry entry for memory management actually gives you better performance or gives you worse performance. So before I even got started with my, my, my testing, I thought this video was gonna go one way where I show you how to get more performance. In fact, it went the other way those little tweaks actually give you less performance so the complexity or, or the the focus of the video has changed a little bit i'm sh still going to show you those benchmarks but i'm actually going to say unless you've done your own testing don't just blindly follow any youtuber and just think okay because they say this gives you more performance it's going to give you more performance change it do a bit of testing see if it actually gives you more performance because Quite often people talk shit, they copy and paste stuff and then they make these blanket statements and they're not true. So uh, what am I talking about when you press Windows key and R, you type in registry. Oh, I the wrong name, sorry. Reach edit. Okay, so it's in computer, HQ local machine, system, current control set, control session manager, memory management. So I've read on forums, I've seen videos where people say you change this, it's going to make your RAM a little bit faster, it's going to, going to help with memory management on your RAM, you're going to get better performance. Well, according to my testing, that's not the case. So I use, uh, these are the settings I had which I'm gonna change, but I'll change after I show you the results. So yeah, I changed it, uh, the disable paging executive to, to have a value of one. I uh, added in feature settings override mask. I uh, added in feature settings override, gave them both a value of three and three. This is to switch off um, Spectre and Meltdown. Uh, then there's non-page pool size. This is normally zero, I set it to 512. Page pool size, normally zero, set to 512. Uh, session pool size, normally set to four, change it to 48. Session view size, uh, normally set to zero, and I set it to 96. Because apparently this was meant to give you more performance. Well, that's bullshit. Because I, was, I thought I was gonna show you how to get more performance. I did testing and actually gives you less performance. So let me show you. So first and foremost, um, I did the testing with those memory management reg edit changes. I added, an, okay, let me just go here. All my games are tested at medium settings and whether it was FSR 2.0 or FSR 2.1, I used the quality setting where obviously available. So I tested, oh, I only tested out of seven games because I managed to delete Spider-Man Remastered by mistake, so I need to re-download that. So instead of doing over eight games, I benchmarked over seven games. Uh, got the average FPS, added the average FPS up, got a, little, uh, got a total FPS, and then, not eight, divided that by seven, because I benchmarked seven games, got an average FPS per game of 68.97. Then I added up to 1% lows, and then uh, got a total amount for the 1% lows here, divided that by seven, and then my average 1% low with those memory management red edge changes was 51.93. So I divided 51.93 by the average FBS count, and it gave me a stability percentage of 687 Right, then I took out all those memory management red edge tweaks. So it would be as a, as your reg, uh, your registry is default before making those changes. And like I said, you actually get more performance if you don't tweak those things as opposed to tweaking those things. So after adding up the average FPSs, um, I got to a total FPS over 7 games of 485.78, so you can see it's already higher than that. And then the average FPS per game, once I divided that by 7, was 69.40, higher than that. Not massive, but I mean, I've got a GTX 1650 mobile. Any performance for me is a win. Then, I added up all the 1% lows here. I got a total 1% low count of 367.46 
as you can see it's higher than when I add in those registry tweaks and then my average 1% low if I divide this by 7 was 52.50 which you can see is yet again higher than when I put in those tweaks so I divide my average 1% lows by my average FPS and you can see it's not a lot but it is slightly more stable so I was going to show you how to get more performance but actually you get less performance when you put in those memory tweaks so I'm gonna obviously just go back and I'm gonna change all these uh, all these things to the default setting before I change them so this is the this I just put this change this to zero uh, change this to zero was actually right so guys as as mentioned earlier don't just blindly believe what you see if it's unsubstantiated terms or, or, or uh, suggestions that you see on YouTube something somebody hasn't tested and showed you that they tested and they're getting more performance don't just blindly believe people like earlier in the week um, I did testing on NV Clean Install. Last week I did testing on NV Slimmer. Those were highly touted by YouTubers that that gives you more performance. Not the case as well. If you actually just load the driver, do a custom install, um, and then just install the driver and just install physics, cut out all the other stuff, you actually get more performance than you do when you do it with NV Clean Install. And that has been pushed by so many YouTubers. So, guys, I suppose the whole point of this video is if you got any things that you're unclear of, anything that you're not certain of, whether or not it's better, gives you more performance or less performance, please ask me. Let me do testing for you. Uh, at the end of the day, just believing what people say and just going at face value can actually leave you with less performance. So if you've got any testing that you want me to do for you, please suggest it. I'm happy to do it. Let's bust some myths over here. Guys, anyways, I rambled a bit in that video. So if you do have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this type of video, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, come on guys, help me out, man. But other than that, have a good day. It's Saturday, it's a weekend. Enjoy, it's people like you. Cheers.